La Lituanie est le premier pays balte à avoir déclaré son indépendance de l'Union soviétique en 1990. Aujourd'hui, c'est l'un des principaux donateurs d'aide militaire et financière à l'Ukraine par habitant. Le commissaire européen lituanien souligne que les horreurs connues par ses compatriotes sous l'URSS sont toujours dans les mémoires. Euronews s'est entretenu avec Virginie Sinkevicius lors de son déplacement en Ukraine où il a rencontré le président Volodymyr Zelensky. Selon le commissaire européen, le réveil de l'Europe doit passer en partie par le refus de la complaisance en matière de sécurité. For the Western world, it's extremely important to make sure that we have a plan to support Ukraine. Because now this decision making, when it's so long, uh, when we have to fight for every every decision, uh, that sends a very positive signal to Moscow, first of all, and very negative to to to, to Ukraine. I think the mistake is that there is still thinking that you know one month or the other month it can be over we see that russia is 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 gambling exactly on that they are waiting off they are waiting for elections in us elections in eu and might be a completely completely different view we already see some of the new governments in the eu who are not so supportive of ukraine and what do you say to Viktor Orban? Well, i think it's 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 shameful not to see obvious and for example decision to postpone decisions not to uh, you know have a vote on on Sweden joining NATO that's 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 obvious you know um, actions against the, the collective uh, security against the, the interest of, of the EU against the interest of the, of the western world and that's something that can only satisfy one side it's the, the, the Moscow regime therefore it's not a good timing to take for granted. It's time to actually increase our uh, defense capabilities, uh, defense industry, to in order to not only provide for Ukraine, but also to provide for ourselves.